So if you can give up just the three things, count them, one, two, three, just the three things that I'm going to share with you in the next 10 minutes or so, you will manifest success, whatever that means to you. What does success mean to you? Is it being in a fruitful, prosperous relationship with your soulmate? Is it winning the lottery? Is it owning your own business with offices around the globe and homes there too? Whatever your definition of success is, whatever the success that you want to manifest is, there's just three things that you must give up. And in so doing, you will walk quickly and swiftly through the gates of that promised land. So hang with me for the next 10 minutes, folks. It's bound to be a beauty. My name is Ben and welcome to Elevate. Thank you so much for tuning in, folks. I'm blessed by your company and I'm thankful that you'd spend your time here with me. So I hope you love it. I hope you're blessed. If you do enjoy your time, hit the big thumbs up button. That tells YouTube that it's been all right. Also, subscribe and join the family. I put new videos out every day. I never miss a day. There's more than 500 on the channel, folks. So go and have a look through the catalog on the channel once we're through here, there's playlists about everything. So I'm sure you'll find something that speaks to you right where you're at. Also, there'll be a link popping up here, as well as one in the description below where you can check out a short video on my online coaching group. So if you're into universal principles, that might be something you enjoy and that blesses you. But on with today's topic. You know, in all of my time, walking with the universe, walking my own journey, and then getting alongside others. In all of my time at university, studying psychology and counseling, there have been some dots that I've been able to connect. There have been some lessons I've learned, some things that I've been able to perceive that garner results. And folks, so often when we are trying to manifest our own version of success, when we're trying to live in our best life now, it's only these three things that really trip people up. Now there are speed bumps along the way, there are learnings, and that's what the journey is for. Life is a rich tapestry of experiences, and the combination of those experiences is what makes the beautiful artwork that is our manifestation. But if you want to get there, if you want to live in that world of abundance, there are three things that each and every one of us must give up. These three things are known by the yogis in the mountains, by the masters of meditation, by the absolute pros at manifesting. Those are the folks who have gotten there because they've wrestled against these three things long enough and broken through. So enough with the rambling, I can hear you say, what are these three things to give up? Well, here they come, hold on tight, because not only am I gonna share them with you, but I'm going to tell you how you can break free. The very first thing that you must give away, you've got to stop, you've got to give this up, is your addiction to being right. You can be right at the top of your voice and still be wrong. We all have this intrinsic part of us. It's part of the human experience where we feel like we need to have answers for everything. We feel like we need to be right. And what happens is life turns into a tit for tat of I'm right and you're wrong. And my theory's right and yours is wrong. And I'm in and you're out. And this is why and you're wrong. The problem with that is that it leaves a full stop at the end of a sentence and a full stop stops everything. There is no journey when you are right. So even if you are right, even if you are absolutely convinced that you are right, be soft and gentle enough to know 
that the universe might choose to walk with you down a path that shifts that in you. Be open to it. Now, I'm not saying give away your fundamental core beliefs. I'm not saying to flush down the toilet that which you hold true, that is near and dear and personal to your heart. But what I am saying is be open. Be open to perspective. Be open to receive. Be open to different ideas. And lose the mindset that keeps us locked down, that says it's all about right and wrong. Because it's not. It is absolutely not. Right and wrong are rules, and rules don't apply where we're going. Not in terms of right and wrong. It's about your journey. It's about moving to your manifestation the way that God wants to get you there. It's not up to me to tell you that I'm right and I have the answer, and that you're wrong. Even in this message, there's room for grace. There's room for growth. I'm not right in this. But I'm also not wrong in this. If you want to manifest, you have to give away your addiction to being right all the time. Allow people to walk their journey and just walk softly and gently with them. Don't tell them, this is right and that's wrong, this is up and that's down, you've got to believe this and you shouldn't believe that. Don't discount the value of the human experience in another. Don't discount the value in the journey of another by telling them that you're right at the cost of them being wrong. If you want to move forward, let go of your addiction to being right. The second thing that you're going to need to give up if you want to walk forward into your manifestation and have success is you simply need to give up your need to know what the end is. You need to know the answer. What's going to happen? What happens in the end? You've got to give it away. This humanistic desire that lives within all of us, and yes, it does live within all of us. You might look at people and say, wow, they don't seem to struggle with that. The only reason they don't seem to struggle with that is because they've walked through this part of the journey. This is where we're at now. We're learning this. They've been there. They've gotten through it. The same will be your story. The problem we have is we stand here and what we want is over here. And there's a disconnect because of the gap between. And we say we just want to be here. We need to know what happens in the end. We need to know what happens with our manifestation. We need to know where that person is, what they're doing, where's the money. We need to know what happens in the end. We read stories back to front. You have to give that up and become comfortable in the discomfort of the journey. You see, this, this gap, this disconnect, that's where the work is done. You've heard me teach on this time and time again, how the law of attraction, it never ever gives to you just anything that you want. But God says, you want that lottery win? Absolutely you can have it. In fact, it's right here waiting for you. I know you're all the way over there, but here's that 50 million big ones. Come and get it. And you start your journey, and it's in this journey where you close the gap by learning how to get there, learning how to manifest it, learning how to come up higher, learning how to get rid of the subconscious limiting programs and the beliefs that have held you captive for too long. It's the journey where you learn to lose the anger. It's the journey where the work is done. You've got to give up your need to know the end. So what happens if you go to the grave without manifesting that thing? Does it matter if the journey has been worthwhile? Folks, you may never know the answer. You may never know what happens in the end. You've got to get comfortable in the discomfort of the journey. Let me give you a little tip that made that transition super easy for me. I wrestled with this for so long. I'm a facts and figures kind of guy. And that drives my OCD to just need to know facts and need to know the mechanics and how's it going to work and how does it work. I had to give all of that away. And the way you do that is by developing your faith, by losing your attachment to the end result and saying, 
The journey is where the value is. The journey is where the value is. Lose your attachment. And ladies and gentlemen, the third and the final thing that you've got to give away if you want to be successful is your need of control. Now, for some of us, it plays out in our lives differently than others. For some of us, we can look at a person and say, goodness gracious me, they're so controlling. Have you ever known a person like that? And you just, you look at them and you look at them in their relationships and you look at their interaction with their world and you think, that's really, they're really very controlling. Well, folks, the truth is, and understand my heart in this, I love you. But the truth is, we all struggle with control. In fact, we just spoke about having to know the end. The one way, the quickest way to move through that is to give up your control. You see this journey in the middle? We just spoke about it. Here's your 50 million bucks. Here's your soulmate. Here's your promotion, your home, your healing, the restoration in your relationship. And here you are, and there's this great disconnect. You can move forward by giving up your need to control what happens in the journey because, you know, just a minute ago when I spoke about getting comfortable in the discomfort of the journey, you can only do that when you are at peace with not being in control. You can become at peace with not being in control by developing your faith. The scripture says that God has not given us a spirit of fear but of love and of peace and of a sound mind. So use your sound mind. The scripture also says that we all have a mustard seed of faith. To develop that faith, pour water on it, grow that faith. As you lose your need to control people, outcomes, places, things, you learn to be comfortable in the discomfort of the journey. And that is how you lose your addiction to needing to know the end, you lose your addiction to having to have control, and you also lose your addiction to having to be right. Because if you know that, I don't need to control this, then you don't need to be right. Folks, control is a killer. I've known people and I've read case studies while in university studying counselling and psychology time and time again where people's incessant need of control destroys them and their life and that of those around about them. And they have no awareness to their controlling ways. It's not just about controlling people. It's not just about controlling your boss, your employees, your husband, your wife, your partner. It's not just about controlling that. It's controlling every part of the journey. And it's a burden of stress that the human body was never designed to carry. Folks, you weren't designed to shoulder the load that is required to keep everyone and everything in check. Because if you are in control of everything, it means you're in charge of everything. And if you're in charge of everything, it means you are responsible for everything. So that means by simply having to be controlling and be in control of everything, you have to accept responsibility for every outcome. So what do you do with the outcomes that you don't like? This is the burden of weight that control puts on people and they don't even realise it. We were never designed to shoulder that load. Give up control. Just sit in the pocket of it. Let that person be who they are and celebrate them. Let that calamity be there and celebrate it. Don't have to control it. It's not up to you. The only thing that's up to you is to walk forward gently towards your promised land. Follow your intuition. Listen to the still small voice on the inside. Do the inner work. Focus on you. What you focus on expands. Lose your need for control. And as you lose your need to control, and you lose your need for the outcomes to be just so, and for people to be just so, 
all the burden of that responsibility comes off your shoulders and you can take a breath of fresh air. You can feel revitalized and reborn and in new life. And all of a sudden it becomes very easy to be in the discomfort of the journey and be comfortable about it because you just don't have to control it anymore. You know that God's on the throne. You know that you're in alignment. You know you're walking forward towards your manifestation. That's all you have to do. Just find opportunities to come up higher each and every day and lose your addiction to being right. Don't rob others of the intrinsic value in their journey by telling them you're right, you're wrong, this is up, this is down, this is bad, this is good. Employ some mindfulness. Take the labels off and allow people to be. Ladies and gentlemen, it may seem a little bit esoteric, these three points, but I'm telling you now, I have seen it time and time and time again. And I guarantee if you take a little time to be mindful of these things, to meditate on these three points, you will see the truth of what I'm telling you. So what do you do with all of this? Well, just keep moving forward. Today may not be perfect and you might not get it right today, but that's okay, that's part of the journey. Remember the journey? That's where the work is done. So just keep doing your work. You will get there, you will manifest. Give these three things away and success is guaranteed. I love you so much. I hope this has blessed you. I hope it's encouraged you and given you something to go on. Feel welcome to reach out to me if you need to. If you've been blessed by the message, please do hit a thumbs up. It really does help. Share the video around. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel too because I'll be right back here, same time, same place tomorrow. God bless you.